I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2022 200RD Delaterra by East to West. This is a non-slide, uh, 20 foot box model. It's actually 28 feet tip to tip um, and around 5,200 pounds dry weight. Um, rear den model, very, very cool little floor plan here. We're going to go inside first and take a look at it there. So 200RD is our floor plan. Front bedroom, rear den. We're going to start up here at the front. Um, if you look to my other Delaterra videos, a you know, very similar bedroom setup to the rest of the Delaterras. Now, this floor plan um, is, is a very common floor plan produced in the industry, but I think there's some things about this one they do that are uh, really more like our deluxe travel trailers and bigger travel trailers that we see. So I'm going to try to point that out as we go. So in our bedroom, king bed for one, notice that. On both sides of the beds, I do have outlets and USB ports. I'm going to zoom out real quick outlets and USB ports, um, storage on both sides, drawer, hanging storage, finished storage above, as you can see, that's not just open open cavities. They do a good job putting our nooks on both sides. Uh, if you have a CPAP or obviously you're charging something at night, you've got that available. Uh, window there at the, at the uh, my goodness, driver's side, it's an exit window. We have night shades in this unit as well. Notice the foot space or the floor space at the sides and the foot of the bed, so you can get actually get into the bed. I'm gonna open this bed up and you can see there is storage below. We do have hydraulic struts to help open that up as well. All right, and that is, right here is the rest of the unit. So I'm trying to step back and you can see it. Um, again, this floor plan, a lot of people make this. Pretty much every high. travel trailer company makes this. Uh, you got your kitchen, rear den, and then our bathroom on the right. So we're gonna go to our bathroom here. I like that we have a door here to close this off. Um, very well equipped bathroom. I got a foot flush toilet. Really good amount of storage underneath the sink. Uh, one open cavity, one with a cabinet door. Great countertop space for a unit of this size. An actual medicine cabinet uh, with storage built in it. Motion sensor light, as you saw. Uh, roof vent with a fan. Great towel storage. Other linens here at the end of the shower. And then a nice shower. Um, that's a, you know, it's hard to tell how large that is, but um, very, very large. We got our soft shower door that goes out of the way to preserve space even better. Full plastic surround. A lot of companies in this floor plan, you'll see them using the wall paneling as the shower. That's just a very cheap way to do it. Um, an actual skylight in here as well. And pretty good floor space. Not bad considering we're in a, again, a very you know reasonably small unit. In the kitchen area, um, big sink, you know, pull-out faucet, standard stuff there, big window. Uh, lots of storage there below, cabinet doors and drawers. There's an actual oven in here, even if you don't use it. You know, that is in here. They took the time and money to put that. A glass top stove cover as well to preserve that storage. Range hood, microwave, storage above. And across from that, big 11 cubic or 10.7 cubic feet, I should say. 12 volt refrigerator that we see in, in essentially every travel trailer brand at this point. Rarely do I see a gas electric anymore. Um, love those. Better capacity, quicker cooling. Um, pantry storage here to the right of that. And then here is your, your living room. I kind of joke because, again, we're, we're not trying to be a big unit. But this is your living room. Uh, still pretty cool because your TV is directly across from that little uh, jackknife. So you do have a nice uh, viewing angle. You're not turning at a weird angle. Uh, sometimes you'll see that TV on that rear wall, and that's that's kind of an awkward fit. So um, you do have a good TV viewing angle um, for all things considered. Nice big windows in here. So, again, sometimes in a small unit you can feel like you're, you're in, a, in a little mobile closet, but lots of space in here. Um, USB port and outlet behind there. You can see a little bit of storage up here. Um, exit window at the back. Ducted air, which is really uncommon for a unit of this size. They would do a ducted air in this unit. Um, you can see the speakers in the ceiling. We put a TV already in this one you know, from the factory, so that's a nice feature. Uh, the booth, you know, you do have another bed there if you need it. Um, that's another nice thing there to have. It's a, it's a wider, a lot of times I see these cut off about right there, but this is a good wide booth. It does make a bed if need be. This is a little sheet that we make. Um, you can pause the video and watch it if you want. Uh, my sister and cousin make these just to kind of summarize some of the stuff because sometimes in these videos, it's hard for me to remember everything. So uh, look at that if you want. Let's go back outside and look at some things there. So at the entry, uh, triple step above steps there by Moor Ride, big grab handle at the door. You can see the size of the electric awning. Uh, it's a good size amount of coverage over here. Both outside speakers are under it, as well as our outside TV hookup. You know, that, that's nice and convenient. This has an enclosed underbelly, which is, again, very uncommon. Um, 
at least in my experience with with this floor plan and, and, and price point so an enclosed underbelly goodyear endurance tires not some random off-brand tire these are actual goodyear endurance there's our outside cv hookup outlet little spray port on this side of the unit just for whatever you need it for lp quick connect there um tent on the windows which is nice a lot of times i do i don't have tent i have clear see-through windows on a lot of uh, units in this price point there's your goodyear endurance tire on the back spare tire 30 amp detachable power cord uh dual gas electric water heater black tank flush that's a nice additional feature as well here is our uh, termination points for our black and gray water and i like the way they do their docking center so it's really really just neat motion sensor light as you saw uh you've got this is so finished out too there's, there's no visible raw wood. You know, it's it's neat and finished out with paneling. And and some of that's cosmetic, but some of it's just practical. I don't like having to catch on those little, you know, studs as I'm putting stuff in here. So that's neat. Um, you've got this little right here where you can bring your hoses up through or uh, coax. This is your quick disconnect hose, which goes here or that spray port on the other side. You've got the city water connection, battery disconnect, TV hookups, and just another outlet over here on this side of the unit. So... That's a really good, neat setup there. More like a fifth wheel, really. Uh, East and West does that on their travel trailers, which we like. Uh, dual LP bottles, electric tongue jack on the front, little accessory light at the front too. And then that's the other side of that pass-through compartment. So 2022 200RD Delaterra by East to West, uh, about a 28 foot tip to tip unit. Uh, a lot, again, a lot of features in a smaller unit. One more thing to notice, this is um, a taller, like a standard height travel trailer. Uh, this floor plan, again, is made in a lot of products that make it shorter, a shorter ceiling. Uh, so but that's a feature there as well. It's kind of in between the real small ones and, and the full size ones that we, that we sell. So uh, in the description, there's a link that will take you to the listing on our website. If you have more questions, you can call or text us or send us an email, whatever you prefer. Thank you for watching. Our family appreciates it and would love to earn your business.